Hey guys, time for another ukulele build episode. You thought it was over, but guess what? There's another one. Another series, actually. Uh, while I was at work showing off my uh, previous build, uh, a friend of mine was saying that she had a, either a ukulele or a toy guitar that her granddad had given her, and it had fallen into disrepair, and I uh, wondered if I could restore it for her. So that's what this series is going to be about. Uh, I have the instrument here the size of a soprano. It's actually exactly the size of a soprano ukulele, but it has or had six strings. From the original nut it was t six individually tuned strings, much like a tiny tiny guitar. And I thought, well I can restore this and turn it into a proper six string ukulele with two single strings and two pairs. However, one thing, the nut is really narrow. Um, it's only about as narrow as a mandolin. So after uh, discussing it with uh, Teresa, as her name, um, we decided we'd make a traditional four-string ukulele and just leave the two existing holes at the top empty. So I'll give you the list of repairs that it needs. Uh, first and foremost is the neck is quite broken. Uh, and it had it looks like it had been fixed at some point because there's glue crammed in there. But whoever fixed it didn't reset the neck. Just, they just glued it crooked. So there's really quite a quite a bend to it. So the next gonna come off and be reset and sanded. You guys all know how much I love sanding, and uh, be put back nice and straight. So that's that's the biggest thing. Next thing is these tuners are just plastic pegs that fit in the hole, and they're crap. So I'm going to put some new tuners on friction tuners standard stuff, uh, $8 for a set in my local music store. It was strung originally with six, well, four, probably originally had six, um, steel strings, which is probably why the neck bent so much. It had a mandolin tail piece and a, a floating bridge, which was actually glued down in the wrong place. It was about a quarter inch off, so it was, it was completely unplayable. So I'm gonna build a whole new bridge and a whole new saddle, whole new nut, Frets could use a polish, but that's just cosmetic. They're, uh, they're brass and they're really tarnished and probably covered in finish and, and grime and whatever. And new finish. The finish is dried and cracked. It just could use a light sanding and uh, probably some spray clear. The total cost of all the parts and whatever is comes to about $20 Canadian uh, because I'm gonna manufacture the saddle and bridge and nut myself and just had to pay really for tuners, strings, and spray can of clear. I'm not going to charge her anything for labor on the condition, and I know she's watching this, on the condition that she learned to play it. If she promises to learn to play, she will not have to pay for labor, just the cost of the parts. So $20 fix up, we'll see what we can do with it. Oh, one more interesting thing before I go. There are absolutely no braces on this top, at least not as far as, as my fingers can reach, which is down almost to the bridge here. There are absolutely no braces inside, no linings either. The tops, top and back are just glued right on the side. So I don't know where it came from. It has no manufacturer's marks on it anywhere. Uh, it has an engraving on the back to Teresa from her grandma and granddad, uh, 1983. So it's at least that old. Anyway, we'll uh, fix it up. We'll make it playable again. And I hope you join me for the whole experience. Cheers, guys.